Hello guys and welcome to another video. This is my review of the Voodoo Kanzo. So far I've had it for three months. I thought I'd take you to the track that we've been uh, working on. Give you a little walk around. Let you know how the bike's been holding up. The only problem with it being so close to the beach is uh, a lot of loose, loose sand. But we'll take you to the top. Got a nice little burn as well there just to fly up over there. So far so good there, the bike's holding up. From previous video, we'll get to the top. Doing this all on a phone so you'll have to bear with me until I get the GoPro. Alright, let's take you for your little tour. So you come down here, you've checked the burn, fly over that way, I'll come through there. This is the main one. Come over this or that. This was all overgrown on the right. Caught to this jump. Nice little double there. Everything looks a bit rough with the mattress, but you can see the sandy spots. Keep going over them and uh, they just get loose. Oh. And this is the last bit of this section. Again, in that corner, it's going loose. We need to get some more good grade soil. Come flying around here. And you can go back up to the top. We're going to go halfway up to the top and take you around the other track. We've been working on it for about two weeks now. It's a lot better than what it was. Let's just say that. If you get kids here, they litter quite a bit. But hopefully that stops. Right. Let's go around the boat. So you come down here, fly through here, and then you can either take the flash section or go through the jump there, go through this bed, which is getting very loose. And you come up to this section here. It's quite nice, so we've just recently built this bird here, which is actually pretty strong. Not too loose. And then back out. Desperately need a strimmer. Also got like an overgrown bit here. I'll take you to have a look. Look how it's, it's like loose everything is. It's all getting overgrown. The camera don't quite do it justice either. But yeah, and I've been riding this on the Voodoo Kanzo. Full suspension. See if I can get up this steep hill. I certainly can. Right, so far so good, bearing wise, especially with the sand, uh, she's struggling and I've noticed as well on my um, bottom bracket, there's me, I SRAM SX but they, I found out they do two different versions, you get the one with the dub bottom bracket and you get my hideous one with the heavy um, 48 spline or something like that, some hideous bolts a lot heavier and I can't adjust the bottom bracket for anything and I do have a bit of play in that again now I'll probably need another tool just to fucking tighten that up sorry about the language forks holding up all right though uh, tires I'd say I'd keep the back one but the front one needs changing good for rolling but grip wise she's just a bit too skinny at the front as you can see, you've got plenty of space in that fork to go a bit bigger. So I will be doing that. I might order a new tyre next week, to be fair. Let's see how it goes. I'm in two minds of ordering a new bike, though, because the geometry on this bike isn't the best. When I'm doing the jumps, this height or this here is just too high. It's in the way. Catching my legs on the back of the seat. I need something like okay, a, uh, well, I've been looking at the Trek Remedy 7. Much more slanted down tube, or top tube, should I say. A bit more leg space. It's got 160mm travel at the front as well, where this is that it got the 140mm travel. Still good forks, but grips as well. Found out these aren't the best grips. A bit of sweat on these and uh, loosey goosey. Nearly come off it the other day trying a trick, so yeah. Apart from that, it's holding up all right. Got some right little bodge job felt strip there just to stop the chain from slapping the fucking frame, but 
so far so good so yeah i think i'm going to be saving up for the trek remedy seven in the lovely red it's the frame size i'm going to go for a, me a medium large this is a large at 20. as you can see there but uh yeah i think she's just a bit too tall standing for me